Hey fam, so today I want to talk to you about Llama Index. Llama Index, what is it? It is a tool that allows you to connect your data to an LLM such as ChatGPT. So this is really a great tool because it, it moves you beyond that Q window or the sorry, the query window, right? You can input much more than you can fit in that little text box and you can interact with large bodies of data. So when I say data, there's really a lot of things I'm talking about. APIs, documents, uh, existing databases, spreadsheets. Really, the options are infinite. They got a bunch of data connectors already and it's moving fast. So I expect a lot, a lot more to be available soon. Uh, so how does it work? First, your data, whatever that is, is broken down into nodes. These nodes are then indexed. They can be indexed with the help of the large language model itself, which kind of learns about your documents or they can be indexed through a third-party embeddings system uh, and then stored in a database, which the LLM then interacts with. This diagram really kind of sums it up the best. These are the different types of indexes they have. So this is a list index, the first one, where what happens is when you interact with your data, the tool, Llama Index, essentially searches through each node nodes are just chunks of documents. So let's say you upload a PDF, right? The PDF gets broken down into smaller chunks, which can be interacted with by the LLM to avoid token limits. It takes the index down, breaks it into small nodes, and then matches kind of a keyword search against a node. If a node matches, it passes it to the LLM and then extracts from there. This is the more important one. This The second one is a vector index. So essentially it grabs embeddings and organizes it in a way that's more natural to LLMs. This is much faster. Uh, then there's also a tree index. And I forgot what they call this fourth one, but yeah, these are more advanced. And these two down here are more costly. So I would kind of start off with these two top and then see if um, two makes sense for you and then go from there. Here are the kind of breakdown of this. This is what I'm saying. See the, the first ones, indices with no LLM calls. These don't require calls to uh, large language models. So these can be operated locally. Uh, these ones with LLM calls, they have to go and interact with the large language model to figure out what the text is and then sort of categorize it, that sort of thing. So this is kind of a one-time fee as long as you save the index, but depending on your data store size, it can get quite costly, which is why I recommend starting with the first ones. You know, this guy is looking, you know, looking for the keywords in your data. So here's kind of how it works. So your documents are passed into an index. When a query is received, this is what you ask about your data. Let's say you ask ChatGPT, you know, what did the author do during his time in art school? It goes through the index, figures out through each of, like, depending on which index you use, it figures out what nodes it needs. It takes the most relevant nodes that passes those in as context to Llama index, to the tool, sorry, not to the tool, but to the large language model. Okay, so it passes those as context, and then the large language model answers based on your context. So it, uh, it doesn't kind of just come up with an answer, it actually uses whatever you fed into it. So it's really powerful. You gotta understand, the power is huge of this because it unlocks a ton of possible use cases. Okay, think about this research papers. This is an actual website here. They, You can take a scientific paper document, parse it into the system, and then ask questions about the document. So you can ask it to summarize the document. You can ask it for some key takeaways, a bullet point summary, whatever you want. What, what happened here? What happened? What were the methods? Anything, right? You can interact with the actual research paper instead of just asking chat GPT open-ended knowledge. This is another one, video cues. So this person, what they did, you take a video, transcribe the video, and then interact with the transcript via large language model. Okay, Bing. Bing is not actually run by Llama Index, but the concept behind Bing is pretty much the same, right? So they take search results, user searches for something, they take those search results, pass it into the large language model as context, and then the large language model is able to actually kind of give you more factual responses than just hallucinating things out of the blue. To get started, uh, they have a pip install. Um, so this is a Python project. It's open source on GitHub. Uh, the name is llama-index. It used to be called, I believe, GPT-index. That's the original name. 
but they switched to the Llama index to make it uh, more kind of open to different models, right? You can use Llama, LLM, the one that's leaked from Facebook. You can use other LLMs. It can be local sourced LLMs. When I ran it on Python 3.10, I got errors. So 3.11 up, I was fine. Do a conda environment and you're good to go. Uh, welcome to Llama Index. This is the documentation page. It's got, uh, yeah, basically it's pretty good. The thing is it's moving quite quickly and there's references to GPT index. So some of the things are already outdated here, um, especially with the embeddings documentation. So you might have to dig around in the GitHub issue queue as well for kind of more up-to-date uh, details. There's questions being asked about this, so you'll find a lot of the stuff there. Uh, there's some tutorials here. I would recommend maybe doing the SEC 10K analysis. That's a good one. You can see it at the bottom here. Apart from that, I mean, yeah, there's really good documentation so far, especially considering the age of the project, and it's moving quite fast. And the use cases are really abundant, so... I think you'll find lots more documentation available, lots more use cases being shown. Um, one other thing I want to bring to your attention is at this website here. I believe this is their website. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's third party, but uh, it's again, open source free. These are just connectors. So these are data connectors. Remember, if we go back to um, what you can do with it, PDF, stocks, SQL, these are all sorts of data connectors which feed into the large language model. And um, yeah, if anybody's interested, drop a comment below. I've been working with Llama Index for a few weeks now, and it there's some nuances which I found with um, what I did was I hooked it up to a Conda database and then generated my own embeddings locally with a hugging face model. And this led to a much better costing, first of all. And I don't know, I just kind of felt better doing part, part of the stuff locally. Uh, my cost to set up a huge huge database was basically my gpu time for half an hour and then yeah my queries to open ai i don't know a thousand tokens or something on chat chat gpt turbo model so yeah i mean it's it's pretty cost effective um if anybody wants to see that tutorial or wants me actually go through the details there drop a link in the comments below thanks for watching and see you on the next